Hi, I'm Mark, and welcome to the End Rod Lighting Example House. In this house, I'm going to show you 10 different end rod lighting examples that you can use in your own builds where the end rods are obvious, but not so obvious. Let's take a look. In here, I've got a bunch of different examples, and I'm going to go through each one, give you an idea of what we're looking at. This first one here is a floor lamp, and all it is is a simple redstone lamp on top of two end rods that are stacked nose to nose. It looks pretty good, and uh, in this case, we had to go down to a wool block, but uh, overall, this is a pretty nice looking floor lamp. Over here is a table lamp. Now, you don't have to put it on a block like this. You can put it on anything you want, but it ends up being a pretty nice looking table lamp. The only thing I don't like is this block's a little bit bigger than it probably should be, but it'll get you by. Next up is a table. Now you can make this table any size you want and just put those four end rods in the corners. All that is, is wool carpeting. You can make it any color you want. So I just did the white because I thought it went really nice with the end rods. Let's close the door here quick, it makes me nervous. All right, now if we look up at the ceiling, you can see these fluorescent lamps. Now that's my own design, it's something I came up with and I'm sure you can come up with something similar or better that looks like fluorescent lights in the ceiling. Isn't that cool though? I like that. You can also do bars on the windows. Now this is something you'd want to put into a very specific build, maybe uh, like a jail or something like that. And all I did was stack them nose to nose again. Now over here is a modern staircase and it actually works until you bonk your head. Uh, but this is going to be for a specific build. This is not going to be for a log cabin or something like that. Uh, but it does look pretty cool, and I think in the right build, it would definitely be the thing to go with. Now over here is the lights you see above artwork in a museum. So if you got a nicer build, this is a, a great way to set your artwork, artwork off. Only trouble is they're a little long. And, you know, you can't change that, though. And they do look pretty stinking good. Over here, I've got a brewing stand. This is a, a surprisingly cool way to do this. I've seen them on blocks, I've seen them on extended pistons, and it really looks elegant and nice on an end rod. So give it a shot. And here's my favorite. This is an end rod. Can you see it in there? Now this takes a little more effort to make, but the cool thing is, is that you can light up someplace and really hide this in such a way that it's, uh, it's not going to be visible. Now, I said we really wouldn't hide the end rods. Well, this is a bit of an exception, but... Uh, so, let's do this. All you got to do, put your armor stand down, put a piston above it, put your end rod on there, and see how it lines up? And then, power the piston. And now, if we break this and break our piston, there it is down inside. And it'll still accept the armor, which is totally awesome as far as I'm concerned. Isn't that neat? What a great way to light up someplace. Just put a bunch of suits of armor and they're, your, they're basically your lighting instruments. Now the final one, the coup de grace, is something I came up with and that's this design, which is kind of garish if you look at it. Um, but it's definitely something to think about is ceiling designs that integrate the end rods into them. You don't have to create something simple and ugly that's just got end rods sticking out. Think a little bit about how you can integrate those into your ceilings. And that's it. So if you like this video, please leave a like or comment or subscribe. If you really like this video, definitely share it with your friends. That'll help me the most. Now, if you didn't like this video, meh, keep it to yourself. Thanks for watching.